we have been getting questions from those of you at home since before the storm even started. And tonight we have a chance to talk with some city leaders. And right now joining us on the phone is Buffalo Police Commissioner Joe Grimalia. Thank you for joining us this evening. Normally in a storm, we want to first start talking about plowing, but unfortunately we need to talk about how plowing is being hampered by cars on the street. What is the Buffalo Police Department doing about cars on the road? And is that really hurting plowing on some of these side streets where people are asking for their streets to be plowed now? Yeah, uh, good evening, Claudine. It's, it's definitely causing a problem. You know, uh, the driving ban was put into place very early on Friday, and unfortunately, not everybody adhered to that, and we're seeing tragic consequences of that. So there are cars. Uh, I was out with Mayor Brown for uh, quite a, a amount of time today driving through the city. There are a lot of cars. Uh, we have a plan for that tomorrow to be more aggressive in uh, plowing operations, uh, hauling operations, and that is going to include towing operations. Yesterday when I had uh, when I was driving into work and going down Kensington, um, even by Sisters Hospital and then down Main Street in the city of Buffalo downtown, so many abandoned cars. Are police checking or have they checked all of the abandoned cars out there to make sure that no one is inside? We are out checking. Uh, we have used uh, in cooperation with uh, partnership with the police officers, some of the volunteer snowmobile operators. Uh, I was out there again myself. Um, where some officers were checking some cars. We're putting yellow crime scene tape on the side view mirror of cars that we're checking so that uh, at least they can signify that the vehicle has been checked. Um, officers have been doing that for days, and they'll continue to do that. You know, obviously, that's part of the search and uh, rescue and, and unfortunate recovery operations where we do have to check all of these vehicles. From snow to flooding, but the looting, that was not in the forecast. How bad was it? How many people have been arrested? And can you confirm whether or not a former police officer was among those arrested? So uh, we have intervened in some looting. I don't know how widespread it is. I've seen on social media, we're seeing, you know, widespread reports. Uh, each of our district chiefs, you know, we're, we're having numerous conference calls a day, but each of the uh, district chiefs are, uh, uh, you know, looking to get the numbers of uh, stores that have been looted, broken into. Um, we are going to move forward with those investigations. We are going to take the social media videos. Unfortunately, some people have been live streaming what they were doing. We are going to get our district detectives on each of these cases within the respective districts. We will look to identify these people. We will put them out on social media in order to uh, help us identify them. And we will look to make arrests. This is a serious issue. You are uh, hampering our efforts by uh, diverting police resources to deal with these issues, uh, and we will come after you. It may not be tomorrow, it may not be the next day, but we will come find you. Um, I will verify, yes, that we did uh, arrest uh, Carol Horn uh, yesterday. Um, our officers were investigating uh, potential suspects from a uh, looting situation. Uh, an interaction did occur, and Carol Horn was charged with obstructing governmental administration, uh, re, um, disorderly conduct, and uh, a physical harassment. Uh, that matter will move forward to, to the DA's office for uh, further prosecution. All right, and I guess the message we want to send to everyone in Western New York that we've got enough going on, right? With the snow and the flooding and looting, this is not the time for that, not at all. No, I'll say, you know, I mean, give us a break. We've got work to do here. We're trying to recover bodies. We're trying to still uh, get people to safety who are dealing with lengthy power outages that don't have heat in their home. Our police officers are tirelessly working. They're coming in. They're bringing their own equipment. Uh, they are working around the clock in order to bring some, uh, some, some safety to some people and some closure to some families. And we just don't need to deal with these extracurriculars. Buffalo Police Commissioner Joe Grimalia, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Really, at the last minute, we were expected to hear from the mayor, but you stepped forward and gave us some vital information. We thank you for joining us for Channel 2 News tonight.